This video was made possible by Carolina Shoe. Check below for a link to their site along with a coupon code for a discount on your next favorite pair of boots. Three, two, one. Why are you in here? I thought we fired you. Oh man. I mean. Yeah, let's just figure out where we can pick up some of those flange bearings. This is 14 gauge. Considerably thicker. That's more what I was picturing. I don't know, I guess the thinner stuff might be strong enough. I have some two by two. I say we just get the eighth inch for the arm and the upright and use the thin gauge for everything else. Let's go to the bearing store. Your destination is on the left. This looks better. I feel like this is where they like interrogate people. This is like the everything store. This is like McMaster Cars yeah. older brother. Yeah. Two bolt flange unit. How much like end player thrust can this thing take? It's still an inch and a half, but it's just a larger package. It's gonna kind of be intermittent. It's not yeah. gonna be a constant. It's not gonna be a constant like this. There's nowhere for that shaft to, you know, it's gonna either pop this or it's gonna destroy what, what's downstream. Can you get 24 feet on this thing? Yeah, I'm fine with that. It's like 10 feet bars of sleeves. Is that seven feet on the ends? Hmm. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> I'm fine with it. You're technically supposed to put a flag on it. But... Yeah. Holy pallets. Directions to Harbor Freight Tools. He's like holding on to this thing for his life. <laughs> He's like, I'm holding the steel on the roof. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, let's back up a few months. Workbench con. Workbench con. Last year we talked about doing something more ridiculous. What if instead of taking the money for our services rendered, what if we took it and just blew it all on something ridiculous and just like documented that in the video of us just like spending all of the money, like every dollar that we make on some sort of build or something. Let's let's do it. I'm aboard with that. Is there anything you've always wanted to build that you haven't had the budget for? What's our budget, do we know? We got 2,000 bucks piece. I don't know why, but uh, I've always wanted to build a trebuchet. All right, I say we, I say we try that. So I guess one of the things is where do we build this? I'm assuming my place would make more sense. Yeah, you have the space. I guess we're gonna work out the design a little bit. I like the idea of a reclaimed wood beam trebuchet, but I think Dale's gonna be more efficient. How and are we gonna move this thing around? Though? It's gonna be. It's gonna that's be what heavy. I was gonna say. What about putting it on like a trailer, like just actually welding it directly to a trailer? That almost makes too much sense. I want. I don't know why people don't do that regularly. Well, I feel like it's because people don't think for themselves. They just copy everybody else. Right. Maybe we should just do an epoxy river table instead. <laughs> Plus, if we ever want to take it somewhere. Right. Yeah, we could bring it to events and stuff. Probably not to work bench con, but. <laughs> Siege the building. All right, that sounds like a plan to me. Let's do it. I'll see you in Ohio. Well, how the f am I supposed to paint this one when we put this one in already? I don't know, that's what it says right here.
I don't. It's all just together, yeah. Which I need to change that to Come with me, we're gonna go grab a center punch. Zach. It's just a hole saw, how complicated it would be. Marks less than five inches. Or four seven eighths. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good because that's four point eight seven five. So we should have a and little the, bit. The, yeah. So the weights are going to be two point or four point eight and four point eight seven five between. That's like we meant to do that. That's it. All right. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Thanks, man. Lucy. I wish I was willing to throw my phone right now. <laughs> is that is that really exactly what you mean? Fashion this time. Zach grinds off the mill scale, take 125.
right in my ear. <laughs> I, just, I think I just inside. pierced my own ear. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell my ear burning. Do is do a pull up and then I'll. Oh, this is awful. This one is. You wanna try it? It's fun. <laughs> That's scary. I mean, theoretically, we could put a garbanzo bean on the end of this and launch it. I've never had a chickpea on my trebuchet. <laughs> I still don't like the idea. Gee golly. Oh, dude. I think that's gonna work. Oh, yeah. I'm impressed. I still don't like the idea.
probably the only part of the project that doesn't really matter. How good are you at knots? Coast Guard. Oh. Coasty wife. You should know like 20 different knots, right? Yeah. You should use a uh, reverse Windsor cross lap knot. That's yeah. the strongest. Fear two, post, two post uh, bowline sheet knot. It'll be good enough for a 300 foot ship. Yeah. Maybe 320 foot ship, but that's pushing well, it. Yeah. I mean, the main line. I think that's his actual jacket.
Been a little too nice to y'all Now I gotta up price for y'all Snake eyes on dice for y'all Shoulders on ice for y'all Frozen A6 all the hate I won't get involved today Got lost in the ball and age I'm flipping the bars I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the Whoa, whoa, whoa For the record Juicy deals, check this out. Ow! Deals north of the Mason Dixon line. What's that? I hear we're launching a great deal. You've been running all over Hills Half Acre trying to get you a good deal. Come on down to the CH Fabrications Use Trebuchet Emporium. Well, that was interesting. A little bit different from what I usually do here. I've been wanting to create more of a mockumentary style video that follows a project, the entire journey from conception all the way through all the steps. And uh, that's that's what this was. Now, a build like this really would not have been possible without my sponsors. And yet again, Carolina Shoe stepped up to the plate, playing the role as my enabler for another ill-advised project. Now, you see me wear my Carolina work boots literally every day, and it's because I genuinely love them. Click the link down below, you get your own pair, and I even have a coupon code down there for certain styles for a limited time. Also, you probably noticed that the trebuchet was not built in my shop. Importantly, it wouldn't fit in here, but it just seemed like a bad idea to be driving a trebuchet around Washington, D.C. anyway. So this entire build was actually done in Ohio at my buddy Zach's shop from the channel ZH Fabrications. Now go check out his channel and subscribe too because very soon he's got a video coming up with his own take on the trebuchet build. Now if you're curious for more details on the trebuchet itself, why we built it, why the title's misspelled, I'll have a little write-up down below including all those details and frequently asked questions. And just thanks so much for watching. Uh, follow me on Instagram for more real-time idea on what I'm building. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. <coughs> Sorry.